Today we're going to uh, test the theory that after fires, glue-in bolts can somehow be damaged. So we're going to use two sorts of bolts today. We're going to use a standard glue-in carrot, which has been ground and notched, and a ring bolt, which has thread all along the base. The last kind of bolt we're going to place is a homemade U-bolt, very typical of the bolts in the Blue Mountains. So in preparation, we'll uh, drill the holes, clean the holes out, Place all the different types of bolts using three different sorts of glue, Ramset 101, Mega Epoxy, and Maxim 1 Hour Epoxy. Uh, then we'll apply a small blowtorch to the glue, which will transfer the heat down the metal shaft of the bolt into the back of the hole and into the glue, uh, which is a pretty extreme version of a bushfire. Then we'll wait another hour for that to cool down, and then we will attempt to extract it. Taking up all the slack. Oh, Jesus. So, Michael, what did you get with that one? <coughs> um, wow, it's gone off the scale. Uh, at least 40 kilonewtons. Okay, and that was a heated bolt. Yes. Okay, this is U-bolt, put in with epoxy, no fire damage, we're looking at what, uh, what it fails at compared to the burnt one. Let's go. <laughs> Spoilt by bad rock again, but probably well over 30 kilonewtons that time. This is just total rock failure, good old bad quality normal sandstone. Nothing to do with burnt glue or anything like that, it's just good old rock failure. Still, it failed at 28 kilonewtons, more than enough. Just pulling this under displacement control, it reached about 26 kilonewtons I think. Nice bolt. Look at that. Not much grooving or anything on it, but bomber. Glue in carrot, heavily burnt, ram set 101. Let's go. So that came out at about 16 kilonewtons, so we may have a weak one. was a uh, heavily fire damaged bolt and it came out about two-thirds the load of the undamaged bolt still 16 kilonewtons straight outwards which is enough to squeeze your body through a harness um, and probably a lot stronger in shear notice how deformed and bent the whole thing is have you um had any experience with i mean is that just that could that just be a variation in that like glue could just be and the variation the whole... in glue um Although it's because it's been a well sort of uh, notched up shaft and threading at the bottom, I, I would expect to get better than that. So there may actually be some damage going on with, with the glue with the fire. Because this glue is all very crumbly and just falls apart. Big old belay anchor made with mega epoxy. Burnt and Neil burnt the hell out of it yesterday. So we're testing it. It's already up at about 16 kilonewtons and it hasn't started bending yet. Whoa. It's once again bad rock rules. <laughs> what did that break at? That broke at a bit over 30 kilonewtons. I'll have to calculate it later. That's rock failure again. Yep. How much do you reckon? Uh, a bit over 30 kilonewtons. Okay. 